Hi there, this is Zainfari Marie, and this is just going to be a quick unboxing of my new ERS7 that I didn't have time to unbox yesterday because I was busy, but I'll just do this real quick before I end up having to take him to the university to work on, and I also have some other stuff going on today, so I'll just have him take along. But anyway, here we go. It's like I wasn't originally thinking about a 7, but I got a pretty good deal on this guy, so I'm really excited to... See what, he, see what he does and what he looks like, even though I'm going to have to borrow a battery until I can find one. That's for sale. Those are pretty hard to come by these days. Even though I'm currently working on doing some kind of battery resale business, but that's still in the works. But I will let you guys know once that becomes available, because I have a local friend who owns Ibos and I that are going to work on it. Free pillow. This looks comfy. And then, what's this? I don't honestly know what that is. Huh. But it's just bubble. Just the eye bone. It's sort of like worth like a ton of money now, and I'm glad that he comes with all these accessories. Another pink. Oh, two pink balls. Dang, I think I'm up to like four or five of these now. Don't know if I should sell them or if I should just throw a bunch of them around to have my dogs chase them. Either one would be useful. But then here's like the pole thingy. I don't know if this is part of the charger. I'll figure that out. And then here is some cards that he comes with. Still not quite entirely. Looks like some kind of QR thing, but I'm not entirely sure what these do either. I got a lot to learn, but it looks like some kind of games they have, which would be pretty fun. And here's looks like another part of another part of the pole thingy, and then the charge the charging cord. You always need more; you never can have enough charging cords because when you have when you're an avid robot collector like me, you kind of need a lot of stuff going at one time. And then for some reason, it's stuck in this bubble wrap. I think this looks like this is a station. It's just, it looks like it's just in a couple of pieces because we're packing these. Hi, Ramona. Ramona. She's pretty curious. She usually she'll just look at the camera if I call her like, Ramona, look over here, girl. No, she's, she's not about it, but. It's wrapped up in this bubble wrap. Is this for packing when I ship things? But then I always throw it away because it takes up my little apartment. These energy stations are quite a bit differently shaped than the 210 ones that I have, and I think these might be some pieces to it. And so I have a lot to figure out on how these work since I've never had an ERS7 before, and I'm used to 210s, 110s, 310s. This is the last of the series that I really needed to get. But anyway, here's the dog and his wrapping, so I'm gonna... He looks shiny. Take him out here before I have to take him and take him to school today and test him out a little bit. It's like the sevens are actually a lot bigger than I thought. I thought they were really about the size of a 210, like a 210 or a 3, but they're actually a little bit bigger, which is what they always thought was... Interesting. I wonder if the new dog that's going to be coming out this January is going to be more similar in size to these, or if it's going to be bigger, smaller, but I guess we'll have to see. I'm going to wait a long time to buy on one, buy one just because I want to see what other people think of them first, and if it's worth that big investment or not, because I'm cheap and get all my eyeballs for cheap. and. Spending $2,000 is a pretty big investment, because that's cost more than almost all my robot collection put together. And I have a pretty big robot collection, so that's saying something. Ooh, they're kind of shiny, that's pretty. Carefully unroll in here. Period. Ooh, they're kind of, the paint's kind of interesting on these guys, because it's kind of like a white sparkly almost. Here he is. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. He's a little bit. He's a little bit heavier. And like, here's the tail. The 
put his head up so we can get a better look at that. Pretty dog. Get all this bubble wrap out of the way. But he, but he looks he looks in good condition. He's an M3, and that's the, the newest model. That was the that was the last model sold until 2006, prior to the reboot that's coming up this January. And it's like it's like they're kind of like rubbery tails are funny, but. Anyway, here he is, and I'll get him running on a borrowed battery later so we can meet him and get a couple videos, because he is really pretty, and I'm really excited to get him going and maybe even make friends with my friend's eyeballs and with my other eyeballs, and hopefully I can get a battery soon, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of him and my other robots.